Die, and I'm doing part of a collaboration project with the Seattle area YouTubers, and they are doing a theme that is That's So Seattle. And so here are a few things about me that prove I'm a Seattleite. So going back, I was born just south of Seattle, and then my parents moved to another suburb of Seattle, and then they moved to another suburb of Seattle, and then I lived in Seattle proper, part of my senior year of high school, because my mom moved again. So I grew up in the Seattle area my whole life, and then my husband was in the Marine Corps, and we were out in North Carolina, and then we came back here and are living in another suburb. So. I'm about as Seattle-ish as a person can be, and I guess I have developed some habits that are true of Seattleites that I didn't even realize I was doing. I am going out of town here shortly. That should prove as a reminder of what is different about Seattle and what is so Seattle about me. First and most common thing that's mentioned to be Seattle behavior is our ban on umbrellas. There's not a ban on umbrellas, but we don't use them. I mean, think about it. You got your coffee in one hand, your phone in your other hand, where are you gonna put an umbrella? It's like totally impossible. So we wear hoods a lot. I work on a campus at work and I have to cross it sometimes several times in a day. I just make sure that every coat I have has a hood unless I have a guarantee in the forecast that it is not gonna rain. We don't get that a lot here. Another thing that is so Seattle about me is that I kind of collect some Starbucks memorabilia. Like, you know, I have the cute mugs and, and I've bought a whole bunch of the ornament mugs and I have a whole tree that's dedicated to Starbucks ornaments. And every town I visit, I have to stop and go get a mug from that town. I can't drink coffee. I can't drink tea. When I go to Starbucks, I order a grande hot water Still collect the Starbucks stuff. Oh my gosh, jaywalking. All right, it just freaks me out when I see, there was a gentleman today walking on a seven lane highway. He decided he should jaywalk and not cross at a stoplight. That's how I know he's not from Seattle. Because if you're from Seattle, you don't jaywalk. It is one of the time honored traditions of Seattle. And it's one of the things that freaks me out the most when I'm out of town is watching people just go in front of cars and, and the cars, they do this thing where they want to go through the, they want to go through the crosswalk. And so they creep up on the person who's walking to try to hurry them up. Yeah, that's completely illegal. <laughs> you can't do that in Washington state and they sure don't do that in Seattle. You can't ram pedestrians to get them out of your way. We just have rules. Okay. I love JP Patches. Who is JP Patches, you might ask? If you ask that question, you are not an old timer from Seattle like me. We love JP. I introduced JP to some of my friends at Vlogger Fair. JP was um, more of a stand up comedian and improviser and sketch artist than he really was a clown, but he was in a clown suit and he broadcast twice a day when I was a kid growing up, once in the morning and once in the afternoon. So you'd, you know, get up, get ready for school, eat your breakfast, watch JP, come home from school, unpack your stuff, watch JP. It was like a tradition. So I think that's so Seattle to love JP Patches. I don't know if this is Seattle, so somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but all of my favorite artists are local. Like, if I'm gonna listen to a musician, he's gonna have a band and that band is playing in my town. Like, sometimes I would just make sure that that was the only music I listened to. I would not listen to any corporate, mainstream, even unsigned. I would just listen to Seattle artists. Is that so Seattle? I think it is to be kind of exclusive to Seattle artists. When I say Seattle artists, who do I mean? I mean, I mean the classic crime, Moneta, King's Kaleidoscope, all of these local artists. Oh, and don't forget Alan Stone, who even though he grew up in Eastern Washington, did break out through Seattle. You can't forget him. And maybe I've listened to a little Sir mix -a -Lot or Macklemore. Can't help it. You gotta have your loyalty. Like the ceiling can hold us, like the ceiling. Okay, now I have something I have to show you. I think you may find this so Seattle. 
I have an Alan Stone Seahawk shirt. <laughs> yes, in Seattle, we're kind of obsessed with our Hawks. We still love our Sonics, even though they took them from us. Someday we will have basketball again, but this is my Allen Stone Seahawks shirt. Now they released shirts like this of artists in each city where there's an NFL team. And when I saw this shirt was coming out and it was one of those ones where you order it and then they print it up for you and then they never make any more again. I was so happy to get that. So we have something called Blue Friday here. Most Fridays people wear their Seahawks gear or Sonics gear or whatever, depending on the sea Sonics. Ha! Mariners gear, depending on the season, or, oh, and for soccer, because, you know, we have a world championship soccer team. Anyway, they will wear their gear on Fridays, and I, I have a band shirt to wear on Fridays, because it's a Seahawks shirt, too, which is so cool. Oh, and the last thing that I think of when I think of being so Seattle, I, I can't really drive very well in the snow. It's just one of those things that we just don't have very often in Seattle. In theory, this year being cold, totally different if you look at my thumbnails, but we just don't get snow that often. And we have a lot of hills and hills make snow a different set of challenges. Um, oh, so we don't have a lot of snow plows, so I don't plow a lot. So it makes it all very difficult. So uh, that's my last, that's so Seattle is that I am horrible at driving in the snow it looks like it's gonna snow tomorrow, so I might have a chance to prove it. Awesome. Anyway, I want you to comment below. Let me know what do you do that's so Seattle, even if you don't live in Seattle. I think it would be very interesting to see what you think you're doing that is Seattle-ish. If you've had two cups of coffee by noon, that is so Seattle. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave your comments down below. You'll see that I have some videos posted here, one that's best for you as YouTube has picked, and another that is a playlist of videos if you're new. Please watch and then subscribe. That's me, the circle. That's the subscribe button. Well, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. See you soon. God bless.